The Czech defense industry in collaboration with local companies will deliver 23 Panther II 8x8 armored vehicles to Indonesia following a contract signed in 2019. For the period from 2021 to 2022, Indonesia could acquire several Panther II armored vehicles equipped with a turret armed with a 30mm gun. The project will be led by the Czech company Excalibur Army which has already delivered military equipment to Indonesia. The company produces Panther II inches Czech Republic under license. On April 12, 2019, the Indonesian Ministry of Defense issued PT Pindad a contract worth $80 million for the production of the first 22 Panther II series 8x8 infantry fighting vehicles that received the Indonesian designation Cobra. The Indonesian version of the Panther II will be fitted with the Israeli remote-controlled uninhabited combat module Albit Systems U-30 Mk2 armed with a Northrop Grumman Bushmaster MK44 30mm automatic gun and two 7.62mm machine guns. The Panther II is an improved version of the Panther one-wheeled armored vehicle armored personnel carrier. It was developed as a private venture by the Austrian company Stair Daimler Prutspas Iafarzic which is now part of General Dynamics European Land Combat Systems. The Panther II has a longer wheelbase and modified hull compared to the Panther one. The armor pack of the vehicle provides protection against firing of small arms 7.62 mm caliber. It can be fitted with add-on armor to increase the ballistic protection against 14.5 mm armor piercing shells at 100 meters. In option, the vehicle can be fitted with small liners and additional armor protection to provide mine blast protection. The Panther II is motorized with a Cummins ISE 350 diesel engine developing 285 horsepower coupled to a ZF6 horsepower 602C fully automatic transmission. It can run at a maximum road speed of 100 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 700 km. The U.S. military has canceled a large-scale exercise involving thousands of troops in the Philippines because of the coronavirus pandemic. The decision to scrap Balakatin 2020 was taken in light of the extraordinary circumstances surrounding COVID-19 pandemic and in the best interest of the health and safety of both countries' forces, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command Chief Admiral Phil Davidson said. The war games would have involved more than 10,000 troops from the two long-standing allies and a smaller contingent from Australia. The U.S. Navy has awarded Boeing a $1.6 billion contract modification to produce 18 P-8A Poseidon aircraft for the United States and allies. The deal funds production of 18 Lot 11 P-8A maritime aircraft total, 8 for the U.S. Navy four for New Zealand and six for South Korea. According to Boeing, the Royal New Zealand Air Force will begin receiving aircraft in 2022 and the Republic of Korea Navy will begin receiving aircraft in 2023. A military derivative of the Boeing 737 Next Generation Airplane, P-8 is the Navy's next generation maritime surveillance aircraft. The aircraft is able to carry torpedoes and anti-ship missiles and is capable of broad area maritime and littoral operations. The aircraft is also modified to include a bomb bay and pylons for weapons, and is fitted with an in-flight refueling system. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.